Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Niche, a genetic survival game with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to a brand new version and a brand new save. So right now we are in version 0.2.1 and a load of stuff has now been added. So I'm going to make a brand new world, we're going to explore all the new changes and hopefully this will be a bit of a longer season than the last one. I'll probably call this part one season two or something like that in the title so that's all the confusion out of the way because I do need to start a new save and there is water biomes and there are all sorts of new genes, there's a family tree, there's loads more complexity being added to the game which I'm really happy to see considering that was honestly one of the biggest problems with the last playthrough, there wasn't all that much more to do and I actually recorded half of another episode for the last season but halfway through it I realised this just isn't all that interesting, I'm just doing the same things now. There's nothing more to explore, the evil desert biome wasn't actually an evil desert biome, and I just had weird pandas with fangs. Cool, but not overly useful. So we're going to make a brand new world, we're going to call it Water World, and let's see how this is. So here we are with the new version of Eve and the new version of Adam. So let's take a quick look-see at all the new things we can find before carrying on. Now I'm sure I'm going to miss some stuff because I just will, but I will hopefully find them as we go. So straight away, it does look like the water has changed, although I do believe there are whole water areas or you need to specifically mutate your lovely creatures so that they can stay underwater indefinitely. Either way, we currently have Adam here with his tiny little paw. Oh, that looks so much worse than it used to. So there we are. We have no paw and we have double poison fangs. Now, I just accidentally did this, but I wanted to do it anyway. You can now rename your animals. Now, the first two, I'm going to keep it as Adam and Eve, honestly, because that's just a nice way of remembering them. Okay, so double poison fangs, obviously double medium ear, double big body, and here are some of the new things. Webbed hind legs, which means plus one swimming. We want that, because we want to see exactly what that does. We then also have normal blood clotting and haemophilia. Animal takes more damage from wounds if this gene is present on both slots. So it's a recessive gene, you need double, so it's definitely recessive, you need double, it's not a matter of... Ooh, dominance. Normal eyes and short-sighted eyes. So once again, Adam is not exactly the best specimen. A lot of bad genes mixed in here. Haemophilia and of course the short-sightedness and the bad paw. Eve, on the other hand, normal blood clotting, antlers hit. Ooh. I didn't even notice that. Now the horns are separate to the face. So you can have fangs and horns. Oh, that is awesome. That is actually really cool. What a nice little change. And there's a lot more. Ooh, tails. Okay, a lot of stuff. So what do we want to do? Apparently you can even dig now, which is really cool. I have no idea how that works. So for now, let's just try and get a healthy brood. That's what we need to focus on. So right now, I want the normal blood clotting. Plus two cracking for shells and nuts. Spiky body. Plus one spi- oh, screw it, no. I want them to be spiky, that seems really cool. Hell yeah, spiky body, go with that. And then, why would I want haemophilia? And then, let's have the normal blood clotting. I think, oh, what's worse though, what's worse? The no poor or the bad blood clotting? I think no poor is worse because you're not always going to fight. So for now, let's try and get rid of the bad leg genes. So there we are, we'll have the runner legs and we'll have the spiky body. Okay, so you two can mate, you can start om nom nomming, and you can do a little bit of exploring before going back. And now Eve has its first child! Hello! Ooh, good, good, good. You have normal blood, normal blood. You do have the short-sightedness, sadly. Animal rank. Important when low on food. Alphas eat first. Omegas eat last. That's interesting. Does that mean they actually have to eat every turn now? I'll have to watch out for that. Again, I like to learn as I go, so I do apologize for that. Oh, double spiky body on Lo- uh, not Lois. Yeah, that's- you know what? It's now Lois. Oh no, leave his ears. I like her name as well. Either way... You know what? Even though it's a male-ish name, she's called Spike, okay? 
She's actually a really, really good one. A really, really good specimen. Everything is good except for the big nose. I don't really care about that. And except for the fact she does have short sighted built in. Still really cool though, so let's move her along. Move you there, little spike. Didn't watch food. Needed to watch food. We'll do that again next time. After seeing how many changes there actually have been, I think it was a good idea to make a new season. I didn't really think it was actually this many things. Okay, so 22. Oh, we need to be so careful about our pack size then. Can I change this? Okay, cool. So I can actually change it from alpha to beta to omega. Okay, so obviously the two parents right now are both alphas. I want... Sp oh, look at her cute... I didn't even look at her properly. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, you're going to be an alpha as well because I want you to breed. New child, you have the bad poor gene. You are never, ever going to breed. Therefore, you are an omega. I do apologize. That is very mean of me, but ultimately, survival of the fittest and all that good stuff, eh? Okay, let's move her over. No, let's just gather food. And you can and you can gather some food as well. Next turn. At least you have the webbed feet. Can I not mutate that? Uh, let's have a quick look. -see. The phone just went again. I do apologize. So, we also have water body over here. And we have the legs like I was just talking about. So we could try... We could try to have a completely amphibious animal as fast as possible. That would be a cool goal. Swimming tail, fishing tail. How do you fi I want to know all of these things. I guess we have to explore and perhaps we'll find fishing holes and such. Oh, that's... Okay, but no, right now we just need health. We need health. So we need to keep the paws. The paws need to be kept. We can work on the hind legs later. We don't currently have a front leg which helps out with swimming and all that other good stuff. So for now, this is what I want to keep. And I want the spiky body. The spiky body is just cool. And I'm assuming that means if something tries to hurt us, it'll get hurt back. I can only imagine that would be the case. Another quick skip there, I do apologise, but apparently everything in real life is currently trying to get me to not record this. Either way, I have just named this little girl Runty, after my crested gecko, for obvious reasons, since she has the bad leg gene, she's carrying haemophilia, she's got a lot of the bad genes we simply can't pass on. So we are moving on. Now one thing I didn't look at yet, is this, the family tree. So we can quickly look through my animals, we have Spike, we have Runty, we have the new male, Adam and Eve, and have a look for our genetic traits and everything else. Now I'm not sure if that will automatically select them. No it won't. Oh, that would be really helpful. Either way though, a good first step in making the micromanagement a little bit less hellish. So let's have a look at our new male. He obviously has the horn gene, which is fantastic. He has horns and antlers. He has the webbed hind legs, which is interesting. He doesn't carry haemophilia, and he doesn't carry the bad eyes, meaning he is indeed a healthy specimen. Now, can he breed with Runty healthily? I don't want to go down the inbreeding route again. It, it just makes things boring, honestly. It surprisingly, it surprisingly makes things too easy. My god, you can. Okay, Spike and you are going to get together. That's actually perfect. They will definitely have healthy children. Now, sadly, she's a fair bit older than, than the new male, which means we will have to replace the female as time goes on. Okay, you feed from there and scout that for me. Eve, could you go down to the water for a moment? Let's have a look. Ooh. What's that? I'm guessing that's swimming. So right now, she isn't underwater, no, she's basically wading. Let's see what all that is. That's interesting, I do wonder what that is. And let's just quickly discover that, because I can. Eve, can you do anything with these? Crack open the shell, cracking ability to look. Okay, so that was the one new mouth, the cracker jaw. Which sounds silly, I've got to say, but either way, very cool. Okay, Eve, get back up. New male, you can go off and tr try to find a nest with your, well, with your sister. I know it's horrible, but they don't share any immunity genes together, and they both don't have haemophilia, and neither of them have the bad paw. The worst thing we're taking with us is the short-sightedness. 
And you have normal and big body, okay. So, sadly, not really going to pass on the spiky body all that easily. Now, one thing a lot of people did tell me to do is to start spotting the berry bushes so that I know where they are when I'm not at them. The same goes for things like the nests, just to make sure I know where they are on the map. Okay, new child. What do you bring to the table? You have the double spiky body, which is actually a shame. I want to know if it's recessive or dominant or what. You have, um, you do have hemophilia, you do have no poor. You are definitely going to become an omega, an, an omega. You're not going to be an alpha or beta. My speech just went bye bye for a second there. Ooh, cool. So spot both of those. And you can continue your search with your baby brother. <clears throat> It is a little bit horrible, isn't it? It is, it is a little bit... It is a little bit horrible. Okay, we're doing okay. Female, you can go there forever and spot it as well. Eve, you need to go back to the nest to breed once more. You can continue that. Actually, you're good at swimming, so let's test out the swimming aspect. After that, I would like to test out the... Um, okay. Well, we're about to find out if she can actually breathe right now. But I'd also like to test out the fishing eventually. So that's definitely one of the genes I would like to mutate whenever I have that available to me. Okay, you do that. You might there. Eat both of those. You are still not old enough, but you can at least do some feeding. You can discover that. And everything's right with the world. Next turn. Oh, darn it. You can't breathe there. Oh, come on. You can clearly breathe there. Ah. I bet it would have said that. So, okay, what does this do? It just moves her, okay. So it's just the same as movement, except for with that. And I assume the faster swimming means we can move faster around here. Okay, I wonder what's down there. If I go down there, can I get back up? In one turn. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's hurting her per turn. Oh, I'm so bad. What is that? There's some kind of something down there. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry, Runsey. You're going to take so much damage. I'm so, so sorry. Nimble... F oh! This is replacing the berry pour. Plus two collecting, plus one cracking. Okay. Oh, and we also do have the webbed pour. Lots of cool stuff there. Okay, very interesting. You can feed from there. You can jump on over and feed once, meaning that wasn't even worth it. New person. You are double spiky body. You have poison fangs. You do have short sightedness, though. You're actually very similar to Spike, but you don't have the double antler gene, which is definitely a weakness. Not sure about you. For now, you're going to be the lowest in the pecking order. Eve, you can do a bit of exploring for me, please. Thank you very much. And hopefully next turn, I can save Runty. Hopefully. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. I didn't realise it'd be per turn. It makes complete sense, but when you first experienced that, I thought it was a, a end of turn thing. But of course, it's more similar to food, which does make a lot more sense. Just me being silly, I suppose. Well, that's nice and explored. Okay, so, Eve. You can come back. You move over there. Eve goes in here. You mate. You eat. Well, gather, I should say. Next turn. Ooh. You look different to the others. Okay, once again- okay, no, you have haemophilia. Don't want to pass that on, so you're going to be an Omega. Actually, that's a good thing as well, because doing this... Can I see if they're- oh, I thought I could see their status. But apparently not. I'm a little bit annoying. Okay, so you mate with her. Duh, but then it's definitely- oh, okay, this is annoying because it's going to slow down the spiky gene. Which is very annoying, but healthy children are healthy children, so go ahead. Wait. Did he just take damage from mating with her? <laughs> really? You thought you'd think they'd be more careful within their own species and no okay, sure. Use protection is very different now, especially when they have spiky backs. <laughs> okay, maybe the spiky gene isn't as good as I first thought it was. I just thought it would be something interesting. Let's go for the water body instead. Let's let's go more aquatic, aquatic rather. 
I would also like the fishing tail. Right now we have the bushy tail, which does nothing at all. So we may as well try and get the fishing tail as well. This way we have better swimming, we have better fishing, and we're not going to be so specific we can't survive on land. So that's the new goal. So yeah, I, I didn't realize Spiky would make them hurt themselves when mating. Wow, we are losing food so fast. Yeah, we need to be more careful now. We don't. We just, we just do not have access to enough food to keep on doing this. You can't kill your own animals, which is horrible to think about, but you can't. Um, but I do need to keep them mating, though. Just so I can get the. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that, but at least we've got a one off loads of food, and we just found another bush anyway, so we're okay. We just need to be very careful about how much food we have at the end of each turn, that's all. Otherwise we could run into potential- there we are, loads of berry bushes. We're actually very fortunate with this spawn, look at all those bushes. We have access to a lot of food here. Eve, go back. You at least have the webbed hind legs. Do I want to keep these two mating still? I want to see that damage. That is so bad. That is such a That is such a weird mechanic. Like it makes sense, but it's just bizarre. Utterly bizarre. I do like the idea of, of the food mechanic though because it's not pushing you to always have breeding nests. It's more focused around a few elite. New ch ooh, pretty eyes. New child, you have none of the new stuff. Okay, and there's something over there. You go explore. Hello. You're a female with... Ooh, you have the cracker jaw, which apparently is passive. Oh, double hemophilia. Swimming tail. That's cool. We just got a new gene, so now we have orange eyes because we mutated. Um, no, we'll leave out for now. The eyes aren't too important. You can't survive for long either. Can I control you this turn? Oh, you have to make them join us. That's something new as well. So a lot of new stuff then since the last version I was playing. Uh, you can just stay there for now. Just make sure to help us eat. Bad poor. And you're actually okay. That male's fine. So you need to be an Omega. Which you already were. You need to be a Beta then since you may be bred in the future. Actually, just this is a great tagging system, because it's very easy now to see what I will allow to mate in the future and what I won't. For instance, this has the the Omega symbol. Now, otherwise, I'd have to look all the way here and figure out what's the problem. Well, the problem is he has haemophilia as a recessive. I don't want that being passed on, so I've just put it there. That's so much easier. Funnily enough, Adam, you're terrible. As a male, you are pretty darn bad. But, I will allow you to breed one more time. And the alphas are the ones I'm actively breeding with for now, so you should also be an alpha. So betas are ones I will eventually allow to breed. Alphas will be the ones I am currently breeding. And omegas are the ones under no circumstance are you passing on your genes, please don't be here right now, thank you very much. To put it shortly. What do we just unlock? We just got another random. Um, I don't know why we just unlocked. I'll have a proper look later, possibly off camera. You have the tiny. Oh, it's so cute! You have the tiny little paw. You didn't, however, get either the tail or the water body. Neither did you. Okay, I need to keep looking for that. Hello! Okay, female, you don't. Oh, no, you have the bear claws! Good, fight! Um. Okay, I think we can kill this. Oh no. Think I might have just saw a horny male. Well, that's one way of putting the spikes to good use, I suppose. Um, can I kill it in one more attack? Looks like I might be able to, though I'm not sure. Oh, I just realised you have the fangs. That's cool. Uh, Spike, you're going to have to fight here. Found the new nest. That's good. We don't really have any females want to breed right now, though, sadly. Hello, Sire. Adam, could you go ahead 
and scare away that male. That would be glorious. Or your child can, one of the two. Okay. Of course you both will share a genes at your mother, and that's a hundred percent chance in this. You both share a gene as well. Okay. Nothing much more we can really do than this turn other than just make sure to harvest where we can. You go there for now, start eating. You can go over here and start scouting towards that next nest. Again, get the food. It seems like we do get more food though than we used to. It does seem like it to offset the fact we're losing food every turn. Ah, scary. Hello! Wait. You go fight. Oh look, an another nest. Eve, mate. You're not Eve. Um, new female who's mating. Spike! Sire, go away for a second. Will I pass on Sire's genes? Yes. Yes, I will. Actually, Sire's good. Sire, definitely a beta. For now, until she's mating. Or shall I just put... No, this is, the, this is the best system. Alpha for currently mating, beta for mating in the future, omega for don't want to pass on the genes. You can go help out her. You're just waiting for Adam to come back. Ooh, not even sure if that's going to pass on the child before she passes on herself. Where's that freaking male? It needs to go away. Good, good, new child. And the new child has the water body, which apparently is dom- Oh, it's not dominant. Well, well I can't tell if it's dominant, because she has the double. Either way, though, let's have a quick look see at that. We've now got regular claws, which helps you with fishing. Okay. That's cool. Either way, new child. Oh, the inbreeding. Where are you? Water body. Is it like gills? Oh, that's so cute. Look at the little fin. It's like a little shark. It's like a little shark. That's adorable. Okay, that's cute. Do I want to pass on her jeans? Or his jeans? His jeans. Yes, I do, actually. Yeah, he's perfect. Good. Beta. Stay as a beta. You're good. Uh, actually, do you have any... Darn it, you do have one it, one immunogene in common with Sire. That's a shame, because you two would have been perfect. Either way, right now, let's just get into feeding. Can someone find that male for me? Please. I keep forgetting to look for the tails as well. I'm so not used to the tails being a potential mutation site. Either way, though, since Sire's going to need a, a mating nesty place, you can go over there to that nest. Just need a male to mate with you. A and F. You have F and G. That's a shame. You're a Omega because... Yeah, okay. You're not going to mate there. You're the father, so you definitely share at least one gene. Darn it. G... F again. That is a shame. So we still need, then, a new male. At the very least, we need at least one new male. I have forgot a lot of food so far. Next turn. Adam and Eve have passed, and hello there, Predator. How are you? And we need a female for him. F and G, we have currently. Okay, so the child, move away for a second. Don't want you to fight. Miss Spikey, you can start fighting. What are your genes? You're a beta, so you're okay to breed. F and G. Yeah, terrible. Exact match. You are a child, but you're very good at fighting, so I'll put you close by. Sadly, you can be a distraction. Feed for now, though. Might just have to wait then till next turn. Child, move on. You are the mate, aren't you? The one who's been getting spiked this entire time. I think I may end up just calling mating in this game spiking, or being spiked, honestly. You can help fight. Okay, there we are. Next turn. That was a weird choice of movement, I've got to say, but okay. New child. 
doesn't have the water gene, doesn't have the tail. You kill. Eat. Just, it is a shame about Sire's short sighted, other than that, she's basically perfect. That new, ma that new male is perfect. We want this one to pass on. Why is there no females? Oh, you could female. You could female with her? No, you could mate with her, but she's got so much junk stuff we don't want. It would set us back several generations, which I don't really want to do. Do you have any females that can mate at the moment, or at least we want to allow to mate? We sort of don't. I mean, you're okay. You're healthy. Okay, you're fine. So you can go to a nest, so I know that you're there. Or, you can take up the nest of your old partner. Hmm. IG. Half. It's a half match. But it would guarantee the water body, and that way I could take off the water body from our main gene. We just have to be careful with doubles. And they are guaranteeing the G gene to be passed on. That is very annoying. Also, at some stage, I accidentally named her S. I've got to be really careful about that. I have no idea what you're called. You're now called Enter Name. I'll call you Forgot. F and O F O F I F I F I. You don't have the water body, but you seem okay to mate. Oh wait, you're both male. I thought you were female. No, we need a better female. Darn it. Child, move you, mate. Get spiked. Om nom 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 nom. All the noms. Yeah, we definitely are getting more food than usual. Next term. Oh, you're adorable. Look at you. Isn't she a cutie? F and I. Yes, the F gene once again being passed on here. FG. Do you both have F or something? No, you both have different. So we need a decent male. What I'm going to have to do is just cut for a second and have a proper look at all of our uh, animals. Because right now, it's difficult to say what I'm actually allowed to breed and what I'm not. So, let's have a quick look-see over here then. Let's find these. So right now, the ones we do want to breed... You're female. I knew one of you were female. No, the new one's female, yep. Yeah. Sorry, got mixed up again. My, my apologies. This is why we needed this. Okay, so we have her. So we want to breed her. And she has F and A. You have F and G. You have F and A. So none of those can mate. So essentially, we just need, honestly, any male to mate with her. Because she's almost perfect. So she'd have a good chance of passing on those genes to her offspring. Even if the male isn't perfect. So, that's her uncle. I and G. Darn it, you both have I. I and G. I and F. I and something. B and F! No! Stop with the getting one of them wrong! Anyway, female. Shouldn't have even looked at that one. My mistake. B and F. I wish there was a way to like click and then have them pop up. That would be a good way as well. Like if I could click immunity B and all of the ones with B show themselves. So right now, there is no one I can mate with her. You are F and G. It's F with the males. Yep, we can't. No one matches perfectly right now. That's very, very annoying, and the problem is she's... Well, both of these males are now almost adults, so we just need a female. You're going to die next turn, so that's not exactly very useful. You can carry on and get some food. And next turn, then. 
Hey, Prota, how you doing? You, mate, you go to hurt him a little bit, please. You feed, you just sit there looking awkward for now. I'll put the female in your place next turn. Sire is good as well. Not great because of short sighted, but good. This animal has been wounded, so bleeding is now definitely a thing. Okay, something to definitely look out for. Found yet another nest. Okay, female, you can go there. Did I not breed you? Oh, my mistake. If I didn't then, that was definitely my bad. This will be the last breeding he can do, because he's almost dead from the spike. Which is really worrying then, since we don't really have many viable options right now to continue. Stuff. Oh dear lord, you're never going to be a viable option. No, no, come back. No, I still... Fine. Never going to allow you in the pack then. Hello. New child. Hello there, male. You have F and G. You have F and G. Of course you have F and G. Why wouldn't you? Oh, that's so annoying. I, G, F. Okay, so the I gene here passes on. It's going to have to happen. One of these two brothers is going to have to mate with this female. It's... You're more annoying than anything else. Aha! Food! For the whole family. You're going to die next turn because of bleeding. I don't know if there's any way to... Aha! Stop that. Uh, shall we keep this? Yeah, sure. Hello, you're now part of that pack. Let's do a bit of exploring with you. You can sit there and eat because you have so much food around you. Well, you're also a scout now and you're almost dead anyway, so I might as well just use you for a couple of turns. A bit harsh, I admit, but useful nonetheless. So you stay with her. You're now going to be an alpha. Wait, which one of you is younger? Almost the same. Any genes better? No, your genes are better. You don't have the short-sighted genes, so you can go there. You... Yeah, there's no benefit to using this male. Go you go back to being a beta for now. Sire can eat. So can you. Is there any reason... Okay, can we breed Sire with the other male? Or... Can I breed it with the same male? A and G... Uh, so G's going to definitely be passed on there. A is going to... Okay, so it won't be too bad. There's going to be viable offspring between these two groups from these two decent females. Okay. That's the next goal, then. It's so much easier when you, when you just allow inbreeding to happen. Someone to damage. Who's, who, took that, who took damage and why? Oh, someone died over there. That wasn't one of ours, was it? Don't think it was. You eat. Same with you. So you're the better one. No, you're the better one. No, you're the better one. Clean mixed it up again. You, alpha. You, beta. You, now alpha. Because of next turn. Adorable child. Stay as a beta, you're actually decent. You, hideous creature. Absolutely lowest, same with you. And I also just called you R, so now you're going to be called R. It's too easy to actually click there. I wonder how many times I've done that this episode, probably quite a few. Since, since, just since I'm not used to it being there. Sire, sadly you do have the bad eye gene, but at least you definitely can't pass it on and have it um, expressed with this male. Okay, you just eat until you're old enough. You do that. You can carry on. Although you do have nimble fingers. Ooh, plus one cracking. Okay, I don't know what to do with you. You can go down here and test out those bits of food down there. The clams or the shells or whatever you want to call them. So, forgot, you're not going to be used, are you? No, you, you have the same problem as the others. 
And you don't have the exact genes I want, so you might as well move on. All used up? Yep. Good. Next turn. New child! You have the water body and spiky body. Apparently the water body is less dominant than spiky. And you have the double gene, so you are indeed an omega. You're a sickly animal. I don't know how much worse that's going to get, because I found in the previous version of this game, it wasn't it wasn't really that bad. At least in terms of negativity, to really inbreed. There wasn't many huge consequences. So there's really little reason not to. Unless you have such a strong moral compass, so compass you don't want to do it even in a game with animals and natural selection. One, two, oh. Not as good as I thought, honestly. I was expecting a little bit more there. Shouldn't have moved you back. That was a waste of a turn there. But we're doing okay for food. Everyone's been used up. Next turn. Okay, you can now mate with her. That will guarantee the water body. So, should we move... Okay, let's just reverse it then. So now the fishing tail is the main one. I don't know if the fishing tail is even any good. Honestly. So, we'll see. I don't know how fishing works in this game. Perhaps there's specific spots for fishing? I know that there was some weird stuff down there. Perhaps that uses fishing? I don't know. If you can fish just at the shore, or you have to go underwater for it. It all is completely new to me. Why don't you just do a little bit of exploring here around the shore? That would be good, see if there's anything neat over there. You continue to eat, you eat again. Um, eat. You do the same as the other guy, you're just exploring around here. Ooh, that's a thing. I am curious. Next turn. New child, you have... Fluffy tail, fluffy tail. You have fluffy tail, fluffy tail. You have one water body, one normal body, so not really any use out of those. Thankfully, both of them didn't get the double. Ooh, you have actually really good genes. Not you, the other one. Since you, sadly... No, actually, you're pretty good as well. Never mind. Going a little bit mad there, I thought... I saw the blind gene, but I think I must have clicked one of the parents. Runner, runner, water, water, poison, poison. Um, yeah, you're you're good. You're a good child. Yes, good. Actually, I'll keep you as you are. Next turn. Let's just do all the feedy stuff again. I just want to get one child with the water body and fishing tail. Then we'll call this episode. That's our goal today. Having our little fisher. Also, to figure out how fishing even works in this game, I really, really am curious. You get down there and eat. Um, you're going to die next to- oh look! Fish! Actual fish! Okay, so perhaps these are the fishing points? I don't know, perhaps that's it. So much new stuff to explore. Child, move on! But first, you- no, you, because you're older- explore. Hello? Well, you're kind of vicious looking, aren't you? Would you like to be our friend? You're a female with the same name we've seen before. You are short-sighted. Apparently doesn't have any eye effect. Um, you have double haemophilia. You do have good genes, though, as in terms of immunity. Not really what we're looking for, honestly. Sorry about that. Not really what we're looking for just yet. You, mate. Wrong one. Wrong one, it should have been him. Ah, oh, so stupid. It's not a big deal. At least we're varying the side genes. It's not a big deal, but that is annoying. That was completely the wrong one. It's because it's easy to get them mixed up. You need to move away. You need to go somewhere else. You can't fish, but you apparently have water breathing, so I can test out water breathing with you. You're going to just carry on over there. Hey, more berry bushes. Excellent. 
explore, explore, and eat. And you can just eat. Might as well use your turn to explore as well, and that's pretty much all I can really do for now. New children! Hello! Okay, you have the fishing tail, you have the water body, you are fantastic in every way. And there's no chance, yeah, there's absolutely no chance you can breed with any of your siblings because both of the parents share at least one genetic immunity gene, so there's no chance that can happen. Would it be the same for... Would it be the same with him mating with her? Okay, so... The possible genes we have right now are F and A, and I and G. So the, the children from here will always, always have I. That's the guarantee. Now you have F and G. You have G and I. So yes, there is a chance, depending on which parent gives the I gene. But it's not too likely. In fact, no. No, the double will never be able to. Okay. But we do need to try and find a mate for this one. Cause this one not this one, the male over there. Because that one's perfect. Fishing, and it's got the water body. So we can do all the new stuff with that particular animal. Okay, so I can't use these. So I assume I can only use these if I have the fishing tail then. Next turn. Okay. Oh look, the fish moved. So is it going to be like... Okay, I thought it was going to be almost like the berry bushes with the fish slowly replenishing, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So it seems like we're going to have to hunt them. So essentially, they're underwater hunters. If I have the water body, does that mean we can stay underwater permanently? With plus two underwater breathing? Or does that mean two more turns? I'm interested to find out. You're brutal. I like you. Can you mate with him? You can. You have a chance of passing on a bad gene, but... There's a thing, diversity is definitely a bonus in this game, and trying to focus on the one perfect child, which I do far too often, I get blindsided by it, I don't think is the right thing to do. I think having some fishers, having some br some brutal ones like her, and everything else might be the best idea, it's just harder to keep up with. Either way, new children, please move on. And that's your father. Do the matey matey business, please. Aha! That was a mistake. There we are. All is good. You can harvest as well. And so can you. Which one of these males is better to mate with her? She has double short sighted, so really we're looking for one with double normal. Reduce the risk of passing it on. Next turn. How you doing down there, buddy? Still doing fine. Okay. Seems like he's perfectly fine down there. New children! Hello, you have the fishing tail, you have the water body, you are perfect in every way, wonderful and magnificent. What we need to do is actually start putting the children who want to mate elsewhere, because I still... <laughs> it's still difficult, even with the rank system. Unless... Unless I put all of the ones which I accept to mate as alpha, but then there's no point in the other rank, so no, no, leave his ears. You! Double I! Might not be a bad thing, actually. Sounds weird saying it, but it means, since she's not an I, you can mate with her. Even though she's a double, you can mate with her, and it'll be perfectly fine. The water body would be passed on, and the fishing tail has a good chance to be passed on. That's actually alright. It's not the best, because it means all of the children, similar with these two sharing parents, it means there's a very, no, it's, it's a definite chance of all of them having at least one of the same gene, meaning they're never going to be viable for each other, which is annoying more than anything else. I mean, if we get really lucky, perhaps one of these kids will be good, even though she has genes I don't want. 
there's a very good chance that perhaps with the random mutation, with the modifiers we currently have on, we could get the child we want regardless. And again, I'm being blindsided by the fact I want the perfect child, because I want to test all this stuff out. I want the ultimate fishers. Aww, your head is so big! Oh, you have the cracker jaw. Let's have a look at that in the family thing. New children will be one of these. Does it always show them as adults? I've only just realised that. It should be quite... Ob oh my lord, look at that face! <laughs> oh dear god! <laughs> Hi there, buddy! Oh no. Um... Oh dear lord, no. No, you're not. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> Oh, that's, that is a that is a very funny face. <laughs> Ooh, how far can you go? That far. Okay. Intra Ooh, what's that around him? Uh oh. Maybe he's out of his depth. Oh, does plus two mean that's how far you can go down? Maybe. Might be wrong there as well. I'm just kind of going with it right now. New child, how are you? You are, I say double, but you're really good. So I do want you to mate, even though you're a double, and then that will go with the new male over here. Okay, so those two are a couple. We've got at least one couple then. So that's good. Got something out of this. Neither of you have the short-sighted or anything? No, okay. Yeah, we're all good. Move back. We're all good. Where's the male? There, there you are hiding from me. You have one job to do, and it's not a particularly bad job. I'm fairly certain most animals would not complain about your position in life. Oh god, that's such a weird little job. The cracker jaw is, um... It's not actually bad looking, it's just very, very striking. And I don't know, I don't really like that. Next turn. Move the female over there. New children, we have, again, a double zero. Double zero, double I. Because it's, cause it's a circle. Any differences in these two females, other than just eye colour? Yeah, you have the double fang, you're better. You have the tail, but not much else. So the tail is definitely going to be passed on. No, it's not. The water body is, though, and there's a good chance of the tail being passed on. Okay. Get some food. Like so. No, you seem to be okay. I wonder what those circles are. Well, I can even lower. That is very difficult to see what's going on. Okay, that's better. I wonder if you can use those bushes for anything. Can you harvest them or anything? Is there any purpose to them? Okay, new child. You can go away. You can keep breeding just so we have a constant supply of new genes. What I'm hoping for from these two is just... A decent gene combination of, of the immunogenes and an okay combination of everything else because they're not going to give us the perfect child or even close to that, but they could give us a decent one which wouldn't be too bad to use with the other children. You have spiky and water body, you have those, you're healthy except for you do have the short sighted gene, you're not being bred with ever. New female over here, you are annoyingly a double just just on a recap at this stage oh you can't mate why can't you mate you can you can't okay curious moments why can these two not conceive a child That's weird. What? Hmm. I'm a little bit confused about that. Why can't they? We didn't want to anyway. She wasn't pregnant at the time. But right then, these two couldn't... Okay, so... Oh my god, I'm so blind. She's a female! She is a female! I thought he... I thought it was a male because it had a head crest. I saw the fangs 
which of course used to be the same slot as the head stuff, and the males in this game, if you can't tell, have hair on their head, a little uh, mane, the females don't, that's the easy way to tell them apart. I thought he had that when he didn't, and then, okay, okay, I'm st I'm stupid, everyone can face palm together, why can these two females not have a child together? To her, to her, to her. You okay down there, bud? Just exploring. You're all good. You can't have that anymore. You can do that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Everyone over here, okay? Yes, you are. End turn. New children. Hello! Okay, you have water body in your recessive. You have F and G. You have double fishing tail. You're actually okay. This child, double water body, double poison fangs. Okay, she's better. <laughs> this one's better. This is a good female. So let's pop her over towards a nest. That's the easiest way to make sure we know which ones are going to breed. Put the females on the nests. Also, we've went back into that lack state where we're not really exploring anymore. So we need to find someone to explore. You're never mating, are you? At least not. You're perfectly healthy, but you just don't have any specific genes which I want to pass on. So you may as well move on for now. Oh, that one died of old age. That's a shame. The same goes for you. You're not, there's nothing really wrong with you. You do have the short-sighted gene, which definitely isn't the worst one to have. But again, not going to breed. Why wouldn't you? You, you have the short-sighted, therefore I'm probably not going to breed you. Therefore you should explore. You're a female. And perfectly fine, actually. Hmm. Why don't I even consider her? That's clearly an oversight, isn't it? Definitely an oversight. Well, obviously you can't breed these two together. The chance of having a genetic defect is way too high. But you are decent enough to mate, so I'll put you over there. And I'll put you as an alpha as well, actually. Since I do want you to breed. Could use the healthy guy here to breed with her now, rather than continuing with this child. Actually, no, no, no. F.A. Okay, because it's not a perfect match, I can't, in all good consciousness, allow him to breed because that just helps to take away all the diversity we're currently trying very badly to work towards. Seems like underwater breathing is a permanent thing. She, he didn't die from it or have any negative effects. I completely forgot about your existence, I'll admit that. Oh, what was that? Nothing too important, okay. Next turn rolls by, you're a perfect specimen, and you're not doubled, which is good. However, if you bred with that, there'd be a problem. Darn it again. You, female, F and G. Nope. But you have a normal body, water body. You're actually very good, just not perfect. But I will start moving you and you towards that nest so you can fight over that together. You have some weird children over here. There's some weirdness going on over this section. Also, we are now losing food every turn. We're, we have gone down again, so we need to be more vigilant on making sure I'm actually collecting all the food I can. Sorry if I have made any mistakes, I'm just I'm a bit blindsided by some of the new stuff and I'm trying to focus on that and obviously that does end up with mistakes being made. That female can go over there. That's what I need to start doing, just plonking the females down onto a nest, the ones I actually want to mate, and then it's a lot easier because then all we're looking for is males. Wow. Definitely growing in number, if nothing else. Crud, forgot to breed him. Ah, one more turn off. We could breed this one, they're exactly the same, other than this one sadly does have the, the derpy eye. She might not have another turn. But I can't breed with both, and... Yeah, you're a perfect match, so you can't redo really that. That's why you were a mate and not him. One more turn for you two. New child, female, absolutely perfect except for the tail. 
and the fact you've got a double. Oi, oi, oi. Absolutely perfect, except for these floors. You two, breed. You and you, you okay? Nope, no, 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 not going to happen. All the same with you two. So many of them are FG. Or very similar to it, at least. You are AG, so at least you're only half. Grab the food. As always. I at least hope that this series is, is a relaxing series for people to watch. I understand it's not the most exciting, and there's not much I can really do unique to other people, but I'm just really, really enjoying the game, and I like to share games I like. It's just... It's one of those games I normally wouldn't record for, so I'm a bit paranoid about putting up the episodes. But it does seem like most people who watch it are enjoying it, and people who don't enjoy it can simply go elsewhere for the videos, but that's pretty much that. Okay, new child from these two, which means that should be the new generation. It is! Also, you're sick. I also heard a predator. Yep, there it is. Um, I wonder if bleeding is something you need, or it just happens occasionally. As in, bleeding is in the effect. Ooh, okay, you have... Really? You didn't get the fishing tail? That's so annoying. You two can mate again. Well, there's a way just to, to speed up the breeding process. Just have a swap nests every turn. Fluffy, fluffy. Oh, yeah. It was a 50-50. No, no, it wasn't. Actually, no, it's a 0% chance. There's a 100% chance she'll get one fluffy, one fishing. What I meant to say is, but then there's a 30% chance she'll get the extra gene. We don't need the water body anymore. So what do we need next? Uh, do either of you have the fang gene? Uh, you both sort of do. Okay, let's make sure the fang gene comes through a bit more. I do like the poison idea. Okay, baby, move off. That female sadly is now passed. How about you two? Nope, exactly the same genes. How about you? You are double that. Darn it, why'd you have to have that one? Why'd you have to have that single one? You don't. You two could have children and there'd be no chance of a genetic issue. Sodding hell, now the male has the spikes. The spikes are the worst thing. I mean, I assume it also hurts things that attack you. I mean, I certainly hope that's how it works. But my god, the fact that you have to take damage to allow them to breed is very annoying. Oh, you're bleeding. That carnivore's gonna kill him, most likely. New child, and you have double fishing, double water body, you're all well and good. So is this female, mostly, so you need to move over towards a nest as well. Both of you two can fight for the nest. New child, once again, not having the tail. That's really annoying. I think now, though, we have enough random little worker animals. It's definitely taxing our food supply way too much right now, so we need to stop that and be more selective. The only reason I'm breeding these is because, like I said before, I want more diversity in our immunogenes, so we have more options. You aren't breeding because you're double A. But I will move you over there, so you should be Omega, honestly. Well... He's dead next turn, but at least we can feast on the guy who killed him. New child! Finally! There we are, that's the animal we wanted. Female, um, doesn't have a double gene, has fishing tails, and has water bodies. And with that, we are going to call the episode here. I'm going to, I'm going to continue playing, so if I have made any mistakes, I'm sorry, but next episode, I won't have seen your comments yet. But, in the next episode, we're going to go fishing, and we're going to see just how good the fishing actually is. I'm hoping you can fish from underwater, since there were so many fish around. It would be interesting to have a species which is more orientated around the water than it is... die... around the land. The only problem is, I don't think there are any nests ever underwater, at least not from what I've seen so far. So you do still have to come back to land to breed. 
So, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, then likes, favourite shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Niche, a genetic survival game, is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. And this female goes there.